five avocados here. We've got a little bit of lemon juice that we're gonna put in, some red onion, or not lemon, lime, and a jalapeno pepper. And move these down a little bit. That's hot. Okay. We'll get a little bit of cilantro off here. All right. And everybody knows how to do avocados. I run my knife along the pit, twist it, and then if you just hit the seed with the knife, it should come right out. And they have all sorts of gadgets now that you can get the avocado out of the skin. I've not tried any of those. Just be careful when you hit the, the pit with the knife. You're not, nobody calls your name as you're doing that. And you concentrate on what you're doing, don't look up. Otherwise you'll probably have a thumb in there. That's our granola bars. These are, um, these are, I feel very ripe. They're, they give a little bit on the, the touch, but yet they're not um, like mushy. Okay, perfect. Here's our granola bars, which will let them cool a little bit. Okay, now we've got all of our avocados cut. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the pepper because I'm gonna just mash the avocados right on the board. We're only gonna use half of the pepper. If you wanna use the whole thing, that's fine. I always like to take the seeds out. And we've talked about the jalapeno before. I am not wearing gloves. If you feel more comfortable doing that, just make sure if you're not wearing gloves, when you are done with touching the pepper, especially the seeds, you wash your hands. Do not touch your eyes after you've touched the jalapeno pepper. And we won't have to explain why if you've done it. The, if you've got plastic gloves or, or whatever, it's really, you know, that really comes in handy, then you don't have to worry. All right, let's get a bowl for this. Good. Okay, we're gonna put our jalapeno in. We'll put our lime juice in. And when you buy your limes, get them a little bit squishy. Those are the juicier ones. I measured this exactly. Okay. And a little red onion and some garlic and some salt. So I've got about two tablespoons of red onion. We've got two teaspoons of garlic, minced garlic. And I think this is uh, maybe two, table two teaspoons of salt. Do what? Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say. All right. You can run a spoon around this. I don't know. I just find that if they're ripe, this should peel right off. And then you don't have to hold the spoon and slips and Of course, this does make your nails green, but. And like I said, they've got all sorts of things, equipment that you can use to peel avocados and cut them and all that. I just think your hand, my hands work the best on that. 
Sometimes you have to take a knife to it, but for the most part, you can just peel it right off. This one's not going to cooperate, of course. This might be a good thing for the kids to do because it's like really messy and green. And then we're just going to mash these up because these are soft with a fork. I have a fork somewhere. This must be the other half of that. This is kind of messy night tonight. Woo! Yeah, I haven't seen him. Okay. Get a little bit out of there. This would be a good Halloween thing. What's that song? Great Green Gobs? Oh, we won't sing that. Okay. I'm going to put all that in there and I'm going to wash these off. because I will use a fork. I have one. And all these peelings off. All right, and it's just really easy to, because you want to have some kind of lumps. You don't want this completely smooth. And you could be really good and dice it all up. That would be fine. That would work. And you could do this in the bowl too. I just thought, gee, I think it's easier to do it on a flat surface like this rather than trying to do it on a bowl. Whew. I felt like I had avocados all over the place. Do what? Yeah, I know. That's what I've been told. I haven't sat on them that long. <laughs> okay, I know. I'm not running that far behind. Okay, there's all of our avocado. I'm just going to put it in the bowl. Oh, did you have to work along the... All right, there we go. It'll work for what we're gonna do. Okay, then we've got all of our ingredients in here for a guacamole. We're gonna just stir it up. Now, one of the tricks that when I was reading about this, it said when you put this in the refrigerator so it doesn't turn brown. Now, we did put the lime juice in there, so that'll help with it. But if you put the plastic wrap right on the avocado. Not put it over the bowl, but put it right on the avocado. It won't turn brown. We're gonna see how well that little plan works. All right, there is our guacamole. I'll put it in our little stand here. We'll make it fancy. Ooh, this is good. Okay. There is our guacamole.